Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Let's make a Boyer's Hot Box. If this is the kind of thing you like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. A Boyer's Hot Box is used to control temperature and humidity. In my case, I'm going to primarily use it just to cure epoxy. You can also use this to drive the moisture content down in wood. Now, to get this done, we have a piece of foil sided foam insulation. I have one sheet of four by eight. I had to make a couple cuts just to fit it into my Jeep. There are a lot of hot box builds out there. Uh, essentially, it's just a box that's insulated that you're gonna put a light bulb or some heat source in to control the temperature. Uh, I was gonna originally build one that was gonna be a bench top, but I need one right now. So we're gonna be using this foam board and some foil tape. This is not my original idea. I've got a, a bow recipe book put out by Dave Mead, and he covers a quickie hot box in there. So he didn't really get the dimensions. Uh, I'm just gonna wing it and try to use up as much of the material as I can. Now in my case, I'm not just building short little horse bows like Dave does. Uh, I wanna be able to cure long bows as well. So I'm gonna probably make this about uh, maybe six foot four. That's probably a little bit oversized, but I'm going to have plenty of room in case I decide to laminate a canoe paddle or something like that further down the line. So, yep, I made a foam box. Kind of looks like a cooler. There's not a whole lot to this. If I had scrap, I would use scrap. You could uh, use plywood to make a frame for this. This is just a foam board and some foil tape. So I've got maybe 10 bucks in this thing. And it is longer than I need. This is a 68 inch bow. So it would fit in here just fine. But as I mentioned, I want to be able to put a paddle blade in here if I choose to laminate another one. Uh, but this is not quite done yet. I'm just going to add a couple of light bulbs. This time of year, I probably don't need it at all, but I'm going to add maybe four light bulbs inside. And the lid is pretty basic on this. It just slips on, slips off. It's not something I'm going to be using that much. If I wanted to make this a little more multifunctional and make this as a box to stand up that I can store tools and things in, I could do that later and I'll just frame in my foam core. But it's pretty basic. You can do this yourself using whatever scraps you've got. My inside dimensions is seven inches wide by 10 inches tall. And it's taller than I need. Uh, the width is right about where I want it. I can fit two bows in here with no problems whatsoever. But hopefully this thing will give me a lifetime of service as long as I don't leave it somewhere and let it blow away. It should be good to go. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning Rubber Bushcraft. See you soon.